coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development has achieved a major milestone in its school safety program. Students at the Gordon and Walcott Primary School began training in basic safety procedures over two years ago, which included hazard analysis, first aid and fire safety. The training forms part of the Model Safe Schools program, an initiative designed to incorporate comprehensive disaster risk management considerations into education sector policies. That training has blossomed and students are now school safety officers, a first for the school and St. Lucia. Health and Safety Officer with the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations, Bunez Kodra, says the aim is to empower students to practice safety in and out of schools. The program is being funded by the Caribbean Development Bank and implemented by the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, CDEMA. How can we build a market that people will want and will take into account matters of sustainability, inequality and climate change was the focal point of the discussion at the World Economic Forum. Prime Minister of St. Lucia and Caribbean Community CARICOM, Chairman the Honourable Alan Chastney, indicated that while he believes the world is not ready for the required changes so as to take into account environmental issues including greenhouse gas emissions and the issue climate change, he noted that the emergence of a more conscious set of consumers is pushing the business world into this direction. The Prime Minister indicated that the consumer now has the power to impact the market. He explained their wants and needs are able to influence the choices made by businesses. The Prime Minister delivered his statement to the general debate of the United Nations General Assembly on Friday, September 27, 2019. The Government of St. Lucia's commitment to providing quality healthcare to citizens remains resolute following a recent high-level meeting. Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney on September 19, 2019, met with National Health Insurance Committee and consultants from the World Bank as the Government continues to work on the implementation of a National Health Insurance Program, which forms part of a health system strengthening project. It aims, among other things, to ensure that at least St. Lucians, especially the poor and vulnerable, are registered to the National Health Scheme by the end of the project. The project is financed by a US 20 million credit from the International Development Association with a final maturity of 40 years and a 10-year grace period. Prime Minister Chastney spoke to the National Health Insurance Programme during the tour of the Owen King EU Hospital by a delegation of the European Commission. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.